If someone told you that the power to change the events and circumstances around you lies within you and has always been central to your being, would you believe them? We often fear negative outcomes without knowing the true source of where they come from. The reality is, there is no power greater than the power of the mind. This power makes us the most powerful and influential beings but also the most miserable. We are not completely at the mercy of a higher being or God that controls everything. Instead, we have our own power and the capability to do whatever we want. The only limit is our minds. Neville Goddard, a well-known teacher, emphasizes that mastering the control of our minds enables us to control every aspect of our lives. In this video, we will delve into the steps required to attain control over our minds. To stay informed, kindly give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell, all for free. Let's delve into Neville Goddard's insightful words. The mind is a powerful force. It can plunge us into the depths of misery or take us to the heights of ecstasy learn to use the power wisely. Have you ever wondered about the force that governs our world and universe? Many attribute it to a higher power called God. However, our perceptions and beliefs shape our understanding of God. Our thoughts, actions, and beliefs shape our reality. The greatest challenge for humanity is to recognize their own strength and capabilities. We are inherently powerful divine beings, yet only a limited number of us comprehend this truth. The concept of dual consciousness or dual influences has altered our understanding of ourselves and our surroundings. The mind is a shared entity and we are all sources of intelligence that materialize things through our thoughts. This is a universal principle and the world mirrors the thoughts within our minds, thus implying that we have control and influence over everything that occurs. Handing over control to an external entity and believing that there is some other power controlling everything can have a profound impact on our lives. When we relinquish control, we become passive and powerless, and our thoughts and beliefs reflect this. This often leads to feelings of fear, anxiety, and insecurity as we are waiting for something outside of ourselves to change our circumstances. This kind of thinking creates a victim mentality where we are at the mercy of external forces and we have no control over our lives. Additionally, holding this belief can result in feelings of hopelessness as if our circumstances are immutable. The notion that everything is predetermined and that we lack agency can sap our motivation to better our lives. This thinking pattern can create a vicious cycle where negative thoughts and beliefs attract more negativity, reinforcing a sense of helplessness. Neville Goddard's teachings aim to empower individuals by fostering bravery, strength, power, and confidence. Relying on external forces instead of trusting in oneself leads to a loss of personal power and a reliance on magic. The limitations of the mind are largely self-made. If we don't think we can do something, we won't be able to. Hence, it's crucial to cultivate a limitless mindset as our thoughts have the power to bring things into existence. Putting constraints on our thinking only restricts us. The mind is capable of comprehending all things, but it can only do so if it is fed information. Everything in our lives, be it happiness or sadness, is a result of our thoughts. The notion that external factors dictate everything is simply the subconscious directing the mind's operations. By realizing that our thoughts are the cause of all events in our lives and the world around us, 
we don't surrender control to a higher entity. Our beliefs and thoughts have authority over everything, from tiny particles to towering peaks. The mind has no option but to accept what we think, as it doesn't resist, but instead follows our thoughts, viewing itself as not separate from us. Regardless of how we perceive the universal and boundless force, be it the mind, God, or any other concept, it is a single entity. We can't be separate from it as it works through us. We should acknowledge that everything, including ourselves, is divine and this divinity should be shared. This also means that we bear responsibility for our thoughts and beliefs and should comprehend their impact on our reality. The mind is a formidable instrument that when utilized properly can bring about our desired outcomes. It's vital to condition the mind to have a positive and limitless outlook without imposing any boundaries. Focusing on our thoughts and beliefs is one of the key steps in controlling the mind. Our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality and determine what we experience in life. So, it is crucial to be aware of our thoughts and beliefs and make sure they align with what we want to manifest. To focus on our thoughts and beliefs, we need to become more mindful and intentional about what we think and believe. This means taking the time to reflect on our thoughts and beliefs, examining them, and questioning whether they serve us or not. If we have negative thoughts and beliefs, we need to work on replacing them with positive and empowering ones. This can be done through affirmations, visualization, and surrounding ourselves with positive influences. When we focus on positive and empowering thoughts and beliefs, we start to experience more joy, abundance, and success in life. This is because the mind is like a magnet attracting positive experiences and outcomes into our lives based on what we focus on. So make it a priority to focus on your thoughts and beliefs and create the reality that you desire. Another way to control the mind is through visualization. Visualization is a powerful tool for controlling the mind and creating the reality we desire. The process of visualization involves creating vivid and detailed images in your mind of what you want to manifest in your life. This can be done through meditation, affirmations, or simply taking time to close your eyes and imagine your desired outcome as if it has already happened. The more vivid and realistic the visualization, the more effective it will be in directing your mind towards your desired outcome. Visualizing what you want to manifest helps to train the mind to focus on positive outcomes and attract them into your life. It creates a clear and specific intention and your mind starts to work towards making that visualization a reality. The power of visualization lies in the fact that the mind doesn't distinguish between what is real and what is imagined. So, if you can imagine yourself living the life you want, your mind will start working towards making it a reality. Visualization also helps to build confidence and belief in yourself and your ability to manifest your desires. When you visualize, you are creating a vivid and detailed image of the life you want and this helps to build a strong sense of belief and positive energy around your desired outcome. This positive energy attracts more positive experiences and opportunities into your life, which helps to further reinforce your belief and confidence in yourself. In conclusion, the power to change our lives and circumstances lies within us, and it all starts with our thoughts and beliefs. We are not at the mercy of a higher power, but are instead divine beings with the ability to create our own reality. 
it is essential to train the mind to think positively and limitlessly, focusing on our thoughts and beliefs, and use visualization to manifest what we desire. Remember, the mind is a powerful tool, and when used correctly, it can help us achieve anything we want. So, take control of your mind and start creating the reality you desire. I look forward to reading your comments on this video and how you plan to implement Neville Goddard's teachings in your life. Please do like and subscribe to our channel as we bring you more mind-provoking content in the days to come. Thank you for watching.